Today's video is brought to you by the Facebook group Oscar Fish Keepers. No guys, for real though, it's a super cool group and if you feel like joining, we are the largest group devoted to Oscar Fish. And today's video is aimed at the Veil Tail, also known as the Long Finned Oscar Fish. After spending hours scouring the web and reaching out to people to try to get them to send me some video of their veil tail Oscars, I'm kind of learning that these are a pretty rare Oscar fish to get, and they are in super demand. We always see posts of people looking to get veil tail Oscar fish. I then decided to go down the wormhole and do some research on this fish. I reached out to a bunch of my colleagues, breeders, fish sellers, just anyone I could think of. And it seems almost everyone I talked to would take long fin Oscar fish if given the chance and they just can't get their hands on these fish. So then I'm like, well, dang, you know, like what's going on? So I get into monsterfishkeepers.com because that forum never steers me wrong. Lo and behold, there isn't a lot of answers on how to breed these fish because if a person could figure out just how to breed long fin Oscar fish, when there's a demand, you could probably be selling a lot of fish. I also started to notice a huge variant in the different tail types of the veil tail Oscar fish. Some of them are super long and like uh, just crazy with lots of flow, while others are more of a mid-range veil tail. And some of them are just uh, like a long bodied, I don't even know how to describe it, but there's so many different variants of the tail. And I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of keyword warriors saying, hey, Chris, you're a complete idiot. Uh, that's all you do is take two long fin Oscar fish, you breed them together, and you get a juvenile long fin Oscar fish. It's not rocket science. But actually, I was researching that there's a pure randomness factor when the long when dealing with the long fin Oscar fish. You can sometimes deal with two short fin Oscar fish give birth to a long fin. So it's super confusing and like... Like, what? I'm confused, guys. Like, I, I don't, I wish I had a better answer for you, but I just don't after hours and hours of research. I guess to sum it all up, these fish are absolutely magnificent and they're in demand. So if you have found a way to breed veil tail long fin Oscar fish, you might have a get rich scheme on your hands. So let me know what you guys think. All right. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. I apologize about missing my live stream this weekend. Um, I actually have my wisdom teeth coming in and it's super, super painful to even like speak. So uh, I'm all dosed up on ibuprofen right now. But anyways, um, I also wanna let you guys know about my VIP subscription group. Palmer Aquatics VIP. It's $1 a month membership, but I'm going to be doing tons of cool things. Um, I'm going to be giving away raffled fish, and it's going to be really cool because your subscription is actually going to be your raffle number. So during all these fish raffles, you're not going to have to pay anything, and just by being a member, you're going to be within like that is your raffle number, you know what I mean? So your membership, $1 a month, it's that simple, is going to be your raffle number. Um, and I'm gonna be trying to do daily live streams even though like this weekend things come up, my wisdom teeth are killing me. Um, all right guys, as you can see, I'm doing a water change, life is good. It is the end of a holiday weekend, uh, except my wisdom teeth, it went pretty well. I probably would have went to the dentist, but it's a holiday weekend, and uh, it's, it's just not how it works on the holiday weekend. So I got to get these wisdom teeth out ASAP. Let me know what you guys think of the long fin veil tail Oscar fish. Woo!